Hey guys, welcome to Pimp My Tractor. Every farmer is always looking for the next best thing, so I'm going to take you down through our lineup of equipment, show you what I've done to each one of these tractors, little accessory kits and convenience kits that make life easier and handier. Right here in front of us we have a 2021 6120M. This is not your average 6120M. This is the 2021 model, which featured the new sloped front end, as well as new cab options. But what sets this tractor off from any others like it is what I've done to it. We'll start right here at the tires. We have 18 4 by 38 rears and 16 9 24 fronts. The rear tires are available as a 480. 70 r38 rear as the largest size we've bumped that up just a little bit to the 18 438s as well as added duals to the rear this particular tractor has 79 millimeter axle shafts it is available in europe and europe only with the optional 86 millimeter um, to get 79 millimeter 10 bolt hubs we had to pull wedges out of a 7200 an early 7200 and combine them with uh, 10 bolt duels for any 7 or 6000 series and they've worked out very well uh, this tractor also has the optional cast inside rears being that we're in the united states i wanted to keep the rear end as close to a u.s tractor as possible a lot of european tractors will use a sway arm control which is basically a prop rod as well as an open hook end I went with the sway block option and combined that with a quick hitch. This quick hitch is not available from the factory. If you guys are interested in it, this is a category 3N and there is the part number for it. I also added the hydraulic top link. And this tractor is very loaded tractor. It has the electronic SCV stack and there's times four. As well as the heavy duty PTO housing, heavy duty internal brakes, and you can see the cab suspension option. The tractor will produce up to 144 engine horsepower and up to 118 PTO horsepower. It is also equipped with the TLS front axle, which is a stands for triple link suspension. As we move up the tractor, it has the LED lighting option, which is the best lighting option available for this tractor, as well as rear view mirrors and a Starfire 6000 receiver. Let's take a look in the cab. We can see the entryway light. And as we enter the cab, you're going to notice quite a few changes that no other 6120M has. Starting right here at the steering column, you'll see the forward neutral reverse lever. This has an IVT transmission. Since this tractor is an IVT, you get your park up here on the steering column. Otherwise, back here this cutout's at, you would have a big lever as a parking brake lever. Modifications. The seat. This is the standard high back seat. This is a cloth seat. And if you notice, it's got a top rest extension. This is out of an 8000 series tractor. It just so happens it fits the 6000 series. Roller blind in the rear. Roller blind in the front. And yes, they're solid. That's something John Deere could take a hint on on other equipment. Originally, this seat would only rotate about that far. So I took the cushions apart and found out that the seat suspension, which this is made by Grammar, had multiple series of holes in it. So with a little bit of measuring, I was able to determine I could actually change the seat settings, which allows it to go much further around. Steering wheel has been changed. This is what they call an ACS steering wheel, which is the electronic gyroscope steering uh, through an 8000 series. So this is an 8000 series steering wheel. It's smaller in diameter by about two inches. That allows me to use my shuttle shift easier. So the wheel coming over it, it also reduces my rotations. So I get the end of the row, instead of having to corkscrew it, I can just now give it a casual turn, which when you're looking back, makes things much more comfortable as well as this really cool John Deere keychain and here at the end of the console we have a 4640 universal display which I made all the mounting brackets for so this mounts in here the same 
and it floats with the seat as it would if it was an 8000 series. These 6M series, you get more of an 8000 series steering column as well as corner post display, but you get the 6M armrest display. If you buy the 6R, you gain the 8000 series armrest, but you lose everything here, including the corner post display, as they have their own display. So these sixes are a bit of an auto detractor, and if you want a combination of everything 8000, that's what a 7R series is. Then down here you have the extended monitor. Over here we have the radio, and on the right we have our SCVs as well as main controls. This has the loader with the joystick, otherwise these two SCVs would be here, and only two of them would be over here. As well as these controls are for the loader, you have the lights, and you have a power release for power attach. And you can see the monitors as they boot up, and I put the original cup holder back. So by modifying this seat, changing the wheel diameter allows me to turn farther. It clears everything great. And you can see there's plenty of room. I can look behind me with clarity. And I always have my display here as to if this loader will stay with this tractor forever or not. I am a little bit to be determined. Uh, I did like having the two SCVs there so right here. Uh, but for doing the loader work, yes, it is nice being right there. And on these 6Ms, all your information comes up there, such as your air conditioning. On the left side, you have a buddy seat, factory option. You have your refrigerator, which has the switch back there. And this is the same refrigerator as they use in the 6R series, except the 6Ms are unavailable with the field office. However, the 6R field office fits in the 6M series. Well, as you can clearly see, this 6120 is a quite well-equipped tractor with quite a few modifications beyond what was available factory. Next up, 1985 John Deere 4850. I like lights. These are factory. These are not. These have been added. This is my own doing. 4850, they had a side lamp kit available. This is something really cool I found. We called John Deere, asked if they still had that. We had the right parts guy. He was able to trace down one remaining side light kit. And this is where it came from, their dealer. You can see it's a very old label. So they dug around and they actually found a kit. And there it is. It's in there. These go down the side. You can see the paperwork here. They said they'd had this in their warehouse since uh, 1991, I believe. And you can see the revision here was in 1990. The paperwork's even turning yellow. But uh, really cool to have found this and straight from John Deere. Both we have a Starfire 3000 and a mounting bracket that's available from John Deere. It's called a Green Star Universal Kit. And on the side here, you have the factory original mirrors, which were available in the later 50s and 55s. Inside the cab, I have the seat cover just so we can keep it clean, but this particular tractor uh, has a swivel. And you can see how the seat swivels around. That's because I went and I found a seat base out of a 55 series at a junkyard. You can buy some of the parts for John Deere still, however the whole assembly is no longer sold. Uh, you can add the, the third lever here, which is the release for the swing. So I've added that out of a 55 to the 50 series tractor, which really helps for seeing out the rear window. Uh, new poly disc in there, it glides good. That kit alone just made this tractor so much handier. Over here on the left, we have the field office. This is available from tractorupholstery.com. Very handy, adds two cup holders and it's not in your way. Over here on the right, we have the accessory mount and I have the Green Star display bracket on there. These uh, mounting brackets are available from John Deere, or they were, I should say. I don't know if they are anymore, but they were. That was sold by John Deere. It was the rail clamp. And then we have the 55 or 60 series 
cup holder has been added. And here in the front of the display, or, or the console, we have a Green Star plug-in, which I integrated all the wires into the tractor. And then down here in the front uh, corner, I have a I have a power strip been added in. That is a kit from John Deere as well. So now this tractor can run the new technology. It can run the uh, anything with ISO bus. This ADAR 410, we have custom front duals as well as a custom tire configuration. If you look back a few videos, it will say NTS custom front duals. Check that video out. You'll have more information on these front duals. And this is also a very well equipped tractor for what we need it for it works well but is a little bit short on power i would like to be in the 450 to 490 horsepower range which may happen at some point but uh it is a sharp looking 8r and it's very well equipped last up in this shed is a 8r280 this tractor is our main planning tractor as well as grain cart and a host of other things that will run the baler, run the mowers. Just a great all-around tractor. Uh, this was custom ordered, kind of oddly, but I ordered it that way to fit our needs, and it's worked out very well. Take you guys up here in the cab. This has the leather option, which will come with the optional carpet. It's also equipped with the Command Pro controls. Over here from displaybracket.com, you will find a cell phone holder. This is our saddle mount. Phone just sits in there. Works great. I can set my phone on top of here. It has a strap as well. I really like that because we're using your phone a lot. Or you can just set it there. Over here on the right, uh, I built a lot of these little brackets. But this is our planner control box. If you'd had the newer planner, you would have uh, in your display if you have the easy fold option. This is a little rail, and you can put the balls in here. Here's an example of one of the balls, and they have different size for ram mounts, and they have the clamp mounts as well, and this one here is the uh, grain cart roll tarp, and that rail is available from John Deere. Um, this on the right side of the console here, uh, this mount is available from John Deere as well. I have the ram ball in here, and I just made this uh, piece here with this little uh, quick release for the uh, grain card remote control. I mean, run the auger, and when I get done, I can just click it back in there. I need to put a touch of grease on that so it comes in out a little easier, but overall, it works out good. It floats with the console. So I actuate my hydraulics, reach over, get the auger going, and I can run as needed. On the other equipment in the shed, there are other accessories such as these hose grips from outback wraps which give you color combinations to match your tractor as well as these little hose indicators found on this 2330 mulch finisher and this is another tool that we should talk about in the future videos uh, and just the options on it alone as well as many different kits and accessories such as those yetters on the planter all kits for future upcoming videos so stay tuned for those videos as well as a continuation in video series discussing combines, in particular this combine. If you guys have been following along, due to cost, we'll probably continue running this combine. It is getting some wear into it, so there's going to be a few things that are going to have to be done to it, as well as some additional modifications made to make it perform a little better. Up to so far has been less than satisfactory. We'll just leave it at that for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate all of you. And if you like the video content on this channel, hit the subscribe button. It helps out a lot.